I want I want to scale back just a little bit and um, just ask you. So let's start from the beginning. Where, where are you from? I'm from uh, Calumet City. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, uh, but then I moved. Well, my family moved to a south suburb of Chicago, which is about 15 minutes south, 15, 20 minutes south of the actually Chicago land area um, in a suburb called Calumet City, Illinois. So it's really, uh, it's kind of an offshoot of Chicago. You're right there, you hop, skip, and jump away from it. But uh, I was pretty much raised and grew up in um, Calumet City, Illinois. Yeah. Uh, what, what was that like for you? Man, it was, uh, it was pretty lit, bro. It was... I feel like I was able to get, you know, multiple different experiences. Early, early on when we moved to Cal City, you know, it was um, it was predominantly Gentile white people, you know what I'm saying? But then it, it was like a, a snap of the finger. If you know anything about Chicago, they knocked down the projects in Chicago. And then a lot of people that were in the city, they start flooding south to the south suburbs like Cal City or... Dalton, you know, South Holland, Harvey, things of that nature. So I was able to literally, I remember probably like second grade, maybe first grade that um, I, my classroom was full of white people. And then probably like that next year was like a, a handful of white people. And then of course it just progressively just became predominantly um, black and, and, and Mexican people that, that pretty much uh, is uh, populating Cal City. So with that being said, I was able to experience, you know, you know how how the white people live, and then also you know how how the Jakes how how black people get down. So I feel like it, it was able to kind of mold me in a way that, like I said, I was able to see kind of both sides of the coin, so to speak. You know that must be an interesting time too, because uh, I know that that happened pretty much simultaneously all around the country. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Atlanta, all, all the major cities, projects closed we got dispersed into other neighborhoods and had mm -hmm. to sort of um, relearn what it meant to be um, a, a citizen of a, a city, you right. know, with, right. with the new setup and new system. So, uh, but but to your point, it does give you that robust look at life. So that's that's pretty cool. Yes, man. sir. Um, so were you always into music or did that, when did that come about? Yeah, I mean, I've always been a, um, always been a fan of music since... I was young. My my mom, she sings. She's always been um, a singer in the choir. So music's always been, you know, a part of my life. You know, like I said, at the early earlier stages of my life, more so as just a fan of music, specifically hip hop, rap. Um, but then probably around high school, uh, probably like 14, 15, 16 years old, that's when I started kind of exploring. Um, putting some raps together myself, um, a bunch of me and my friends. Um, I mean, my friend, my homeboy Lamar, he actually bought a microphone, probably, uh, probably like 15 when I was 15, um, and we started recording our first little records in his closet. So, around that time frame. Okay. Now, now on this uh, this project feasting season, there's a lot of references to football. Did you did you play football coming up? Yeah, I play I play a lot of sports in general, bro. Okay. Like. Uh, Football, basketball, baseball was uh, kind of my forte, so to speak. And just like I said, my mom, she was a singer and whatnot in, in the choir. My my father, on the other hand, he was a uh, he was an athlete, and specifically he uh, he played football at a at a pretty high level. So he always jokes around. <laughs> he always jokes around, and say like, before I was even able to hold my head up as a shorty, like I'm talking about like infant days, he had a football in my arm. I got pictures holding the football yeah. and him trying to hold me up holding the football so yeah it's always been um sports always been a major part of my life um i even went to college i went off to college and studied sports communications just to show you how you know how much i love sports so really those are my two passions growing up sports and then the later passion or, or later love was the music actually creating the music yeah no that's hot man um yeah, I think it was uh, accountability partners mm -hmm. where you got some some real interesting lines about the quarterback. And where did you play quarterback or? Yeah, I played. Uh, I played. Oh, a little... so this is your real life in this music. Yeah, I, I try. Oh, I try. You know I try, I try to keep. Rappers. Nah, nah. Oh. I try to keep it a beam, man. I try to keep. But I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna cap on that. Like, 
when I was younger, like that's the thing. Rap is such a braggadocious, you know, genre that you're going to have some hyperbole, you know, or you feel like that's what you have to do. You need to, you know, stretch the truth. And, you know, when I was younger, I just thought that's what I thought rappers did. But I haven't really got the most enjoyment out of my music until I was really, you know, genuinely being myself. And that's what I think I, you know, that was my approach, especially to feasting season, just being unapologetically 